Hey, what's going on, wilderness family? I'm about to take you on a wild journey inside one of nature's most impressive fortresses, the turtle shell. Now, you might think a turtle shell is just like a suit of armor, but hold on to your hats because it's so much more than that. This isn't some external piece of equipment, it's actually part of the turtle skeleton. Can you believe that? We're about to dive deep into this biological marvel, and I promise you it's going to blow your mind. All right, are you ready to get up close and personal with this incredible living armor? Let's start with the top part of the shell, the carapace. Now, this isn't just some solid piece of bone. Oh no, it's way cooler than that. The carapace is actually made up of the turtle's ribs that have grown outward and fused with dermal bone. That's right, folks. The turtle's ribs are part of its shell. How wild is that? Now let's flip this turtle over and check out the bottom part of the shell, the plastron. This is the turtle's built-in bulletproof vest, protecting all its soft, squishy parts. The plastron is formed from the fusion of clavicles and other dermal bones. Now you might be wondering, how does a turtle fit all its organs inside that shell? Well, let me tell you, it's like a perfectly packed suitcase in there. Right at the top, just under the carapace, we've got the lungs. These aren't your typical lungs. They're specially adapted to work within the confines of the shell, but here's where it gets really wild. The turtle's shell isn't just a house for its organs, it's a living, feeling part of its body. That's right, the shell is packed with sensory nerves that allow the turtle to feel touch, pressure, and even pain. It's not some insensitive piece of armor, it's as much a part of the turtle's sensory world as our skin is to us. These nerves are connected to the spinal column which, believe it or not, is actually fused with the shell itself. Now hold on to your shells because we're about to take a journey through time. The turtle shell didn't just appear overnight, it's the result of over 200 million years of evolution. Can you believe that? That's older than T-Rex. Different turtle species adapted their shells to suit their environments. Take sea turtles, for example. They've got flatter, more streamlined shells that help them glide through the water. Tortoises, on the other hand, developed dome-shaped shells that offer better protection on land. And then we've got softshell turtles, who've reduced the bone density in their shells to stay nimble in murky waters. It just goes to show how versatile and adaptable this amazing structure is. Wow, what an incredible journey we've been on. From the intricate structure of the carapace and plastron to the compact arrangement of organs and the shell's sensory capabilities, the turtle shell truly is a masterpiece of biological engineering. It's not just a protective case. It's a living, growing, feeling part of the turtle's body. And to think, this amazing structure has been perfected over 200 million years of evolution. The next time you see a turtle, remember, you're looking at one of nature's greatest success stories. Be brave, stay wild, and we'll see you on the next adventure.